So we're here at Fort Knox at the Combat Vehicle Crewman's Body Armor Demonstration. And what we're doing is conducting a demonstration on Combat Vehicle Crew Member's Body Armor to try to figure out what the next step is for body armor inside the vehicles. I just need to be able to move my arms you know, from the left to the right or across, up, down, and also the vest, it cannot be too bulky. That way, if my vehicle goes down and I need to evacuate it, I need to be able to get out of there quick. Being comfortable, because if you're not comfortable, you're constantly just moving and changing stuff around, and that can get really tired after a while. Reduce the weight, but keep the same security, same protection. You know, you want to have that full security knowing that you can trust your body on. We're doing rollover drills, mine drills, um, evacuate casualties, mounting and dismounting our weapons. Reach all the features inside the vehicles, and make sure we can still use our radios and communication, turn it on off the truck, and uh, in case of emergencies, be able to get out of the truck in a good amount of time. Just because it's a tactical vest and it's supposed to provide ballistic protection and flight protection, doesn't mean it has to be bulky, overweight, hot and uh, unruly. Sometimes less is better. What we're looking for is not necessarily a new body armor system, but one that can be, that's tailorable, scalable, integratable with what we have now. So depending on what the mission is and what the threat is, the soldier and the leadership can scale the uh, level of protection they need of that body armor system to the mission and the threat. I think it's cool to be able to test it out. Just be like, yeah, I tested that for everybody. You know, I, I, I find that kind of cool. This demonstration is a good merging of the material development community, PM Soldier Survivability, and the combat development community here at Fort Knox, and, and to include the Infantry Center and the other proponents that are involved to, to put our heads together in, in what is right, what, what does right look like. We, we know from the proponency what it is we're looking for, but we need the PM to come in and bring industry with us to show us what is available, what they can do and what they can't do, and it's that partnership that really makes this demonstration a success. So I would say that there's a lot going on. The field is not being shy about what they like and dislike about soldier equipment. We take it to heart, we're taking it to heart, and we're continuing to move forward with getting improvements out to the field as quick as possible.